All right, here we go, take two. Tried to start a video and I uh, got one of them legit looking phone numbers only for it to be Marriott thanking you for staying with us. I haven't stayed in a Marriott in four or five years. Anyway, nice afternoon, a little after three, heading back to the shop, about 60 something degrees, pretty nice. Uh, this deal here is kind of a mixed match, but anyway, uh, I'm seeing more and more ammo uh, coming through, actually having the warehouses calling me, saying, you want a thousand here, a thousand there? Yes, I do, please. And uh, the pricing's uh, down a little further at the gun show. No, it's nowhere near what it should be, but if the availability of the ammo stays up, then the price will go down. So, now, to get a little more serious, the shooting up in uh, Denver. All right, here we go again. And you notice, because it was not a middle-aged white guy, they don't talk much about him. They call his name, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and then they just flush the rest of the story down the toilet. Oh, but those evil guns. Yeah. Has anybody but me, and I'm not a smart man, noticed that invariably when this happens, their family, the immediate family always says, well, he has a mental health problem. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Nobody in their right mind is going to go into a supermarket and start shooting at people. Or a movie theater. Or a bar whatever but we don't have a gun problem we had a gun problem that'd be people laying in the streets dead everywhere we got an evil problem or a sin problem and just evil is amongst us but really mental health but you know uh, the liberal left don't have an answer to how to fix that so they, they're not even going to touch it so listening to the video and the president oh sleepy joe's already started i'm surprised it took this long oh we got to ban guns we got to ban the magazines got to ban this ban that he had a modified assault rifle i'm sorry there's no such animal as an assault rifle ar stands for armalite rifle the manufacturer the original maker of the rifle it is a msr a multi-caliber sporting rifle it is not the same ones that the military has because on theirs you can pull the trigger and it won't stop until it runs out of bullets or you get your finger off the trigger. We can't have those. Let me back that up. If you pay a $200 tax, do a deep background check, you could buy one. But there's so few of them out there, you're looking at what, I don't remember the latest number, forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 to buy an M16. A legal one, forty dollars to $50,000, if not more. I, I, I know for sure the last one I seen was over 30000 So anyway, but backtrack. So you got the video of the idiot that recorded that thing instead of helping folks or getting the heck out of the way. He, you know, we're going to video it. Anyway, um... Listening to part of that video, it was loud about what I expected to be shooting a rifle inside a building. So he didn't have a suppressor or something to muffle the sound. The shots were several seconds apart. So he didn't have some kind of binary trigger, bump stop, something to that effect to make it shoot multiple times. So that's not it. All that leaves is I wonder if it had one of those uh, braces on it, like the pistol have. You know, they've been trying to get those pistol braces for years. Uh, even as early as, or late as, right before the election, finally threw their hands up and walked away. Those have been around a long time. But uh, that's the only thing I can think of. I haven't seen the pictures of the weapon. We know it's a Ruger. Uh, they, they make rifles, they make AR pistols, uh, them and 
and so does, you know, I don't know, 8, 10, 15, 30 other companies. I don't know. And in Colorado, you're only allowed a 10 round magazine legally. Right? Why do you think Magpul left Colorado for a company that makes pretty much 30 or 40 round underground magazines? I'm not sure. I know they make 30s and 40s. They left Colorado because you couldn't have them in the town that they were actually manufactured in. So, all right. If he had a large capacity magazine, that was illegal. If he had a pistol with a stabilizing brace on it, that's a legal right. Now, they said he had an assault. Assault. He had a charge of attacking someone several years ago. Now, if that was a felony assault, he shouldn't have a gun at all. But, there you go. That being said, while I'm thinking about it, I, I got a hammer back there in the back of the truck that you could assault somebody with a hammer. I certainly wouldn't want to get hit by a hammer. So, quit using the word. You can be assaulted by someone's fist. You can be verbally assaulted by somebody's words. So AR is Armalite rifle. It is not an M16 like the military has. Does it look like it? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it. But that's uh, the left has just gone completely berserk, and they're just they're running around there wringing hands and gnashing their teeth. They're so happy. That we had another one of these that oh we're gonna go after them evil guns now we got joe in the white house and we're in control of this we're in control of that we're gonna take it all it's gonna be great yeah you know you know how you keep a drunk driver from killing people if you listen to the dims the left right you just ban everybody from driving that way nobody gets run over by a drunk that's that's the deal it's an evil problem. It has nothing to do with the weapon. It has everything to do with the person. And it just uh, just blows me away that, uh, man, they're not, they are tight-lipped on this character. I mean, we got a little bit, he was uh, born somewhere else, raised here, and he's got a, a foreign name, and I think it was his brother that said he, he was kind of a loner, kind of fed by himself, uh, was beat up or, or was bru was bullied when he was younger. This sounds like about half those people that, that went off the deep end and, and started shooting up places. Yeah, we got a we got a sin problem, got an evil problem. Has nothing to do with the guns. Has nothing to do with the legality of owning them or not. Chicago has the high, the strictest gun policy there is, and every weekend there's more people killed in Chicago than half the states on the West Coast. Maine, I believe it is, has a pretty much an open carry. I think as long as you don't have a felony, you can carry a gun. Don't need a permit. Don't need nothing. And they've got the lowest rate of crime so you do the math i'm sure most of y'all are smarter than i am y'all be careful take care of one another